Hey guys, what's going on? It's Roger Death here. We're gonna play some more uh, Nestorian Hungary real quick. I'm actually recording this on a at a dumb time because it's literally the day I'm uploading this one. Yes, look at that glorious large Hungary. Too easy. <laughs> Main reason it's even got any difficulty at all is because we're considered a small dynasty still. It's because we are. But my guy will like. I don't know, because I didn't increase his, uh... He's got some extra health, so he won't die for a while. The fact that we only had one son is what's hurting us right now. So... What were we doing? Where is my... Where is... He... He's trying to fabricate claims... In Belgrod. Belgorod. Which is not even where he is. Well, I mean, it kind of is. <clears throat> the thing is, other than that, we were just kind of getting money, improving our lands. Speed 5. The uh, the Pacilius wants a prince of the, Pacilia, of the uh, Byzantine Emperor to marry a courtier. The Arpad dynasty, though, so... They've still got a fair bit of prestige. So, whatever. Yeah. It's kind of weird, but uh, losing Cynical is not a terrible idea because I do want to get my prestige up. Or my piety. allows me to improve my intrigue as an ambition because I didn't have one <laughs> uh. oh so we got new get that one uh sure oh that's right I was getting money for the empire and There's no reason to banish you. And the uh, kingdom. So, like, make him be glorious. Huh. <sighs> uh. Would you? <laughs> Being Catholic is a heresy, apparently, as far as we can we're concerned, which makes sense, I guess. Do I only have this that she made? I don't even know. I know I don't have that one made. I'm trying to take it over. meantime, I've got uh, this one down here that I'm holding on to. I have new administration for 15 more years. <coughs> so, the reason we're having, we keep having our people convert away is because, uh, well, Christianity's got, like, is absurdly powerful uh, moral authority, and we don't, because we don't have any of the holy sites. Because all of the holy sites are freaking down here. They're all right here. <laughs> so I have to somehow get through here and attack these giant motherfuckers. <clears throat> I mean, I suppose once I can get through this, uh, the Petchings here, I could attack Kumania. Because I will have more troops. Yeah. I have a substantially larger amount of troops right now even. My daughter is ready to be married, so she can marry the Duke of Lorraine. <coughs> Laura Lorraine, whatever the fuck it is. Come a rum. 
interesting name. Patient. Very good trait. She's turning out awesome so far. We like her. I like her as an because she's basically got no stats, but she has problems in. Um, we'll see if my son comes anywhere near her. To be near as good. Holy shit, he has diplomacy. So does she. And she's got all kinds of points towards it, too, because she's quick. How old is my wife? 37. She's still able to bear children. He's important. Does that technically give me a border with Comania? It does. <coughs> but just for the one province, I'm not going to do it. I do not fear the dark. Yeah, I've improved my intrigue, which means I get another 100 prestige. Which means people like me more, which is awesome. steward so I can get more money because I believe I'm on elective right yeah I'm already on elective and I get seven freaking it's pretty crazy I get seven <clears throat> right so let's see if I were to make this would require 334 gold and this would require 222 so I'd rather have all of it Uh, sure, I don't really care. He doesn't have any claims or anything. You, you can marry Metrolinally. I, I don't care. Venice is actually expanding on its own. That's actually... Or is that Venice? Yeah. It's weird to see, because I don't usually see Venice expanding unless I'm the one that's doing it. And basically whenever I play, I do it. <laughs> Just super easy to do. Okay, so... Since we're just waiting on that, uh, let's grab another one of those, because that'll increase my manpower. The amount of men I can call to war, basically. Nothing else I can really do. It benefits me right now. <coughs> another daughter to come of age. Can marry the Grand Prince of Vladimir. I get very little prestige for them marrying it way anyway. Alright, Just is going to make him her even better. Just is always a good trait. I mean, you basically don't get any penalties for it. The only way you get penalties is if people are dumb jackasses and are uh, arbitrary. If they're just and the vassal, you, they just get massive bonuses. I think the Duke of Transylvania is the only one that's not got the uh, super high opinion on me. Because my state diplomacy is amazing. Also, they really like uh, elected monarchy. And I can't say I blame them. I do too. What crown law are we at? Low, I changed that already. Okay. I did not remember or not if I did or not. Um, hmm, yeah, let's go with a small noble tax. Uh, that's gonna net me a bunch more money. So it's at 161.6. Another 27.59. It's a nice amount. And it's only a small penalty to your opinion. And since I've got most people capped out. It's even smaller, realistically. So, Kiev is... The downside is I can't wholly war anybody right now. I have to look for people that are not... That are basically... Uh, Sunni? Shia? Or... Any of these... Or I think I can actually do these guys over here, but, I mean, really, what's the point? God, 
I wish they'd just make more kings. Freaking Holy Roman Empire. Just bloats everything. That slide. Engage in theological debate, I mean. She's either going to be chaste or temperate. I prefer temperate. Uh, she got temperate. I mean, look at this. These are freaking awesome stats. I like that. It's a good air right there. I am accumulating so much money right now. I could afford to create the... Uh, the Empire. But I'm not sure I will. You know, there's no good reason not to. Because then if I just create that, I turn you into the king of Wallachia. You're going to want to get claims back on all of your stuff. Here, I want... Uh, no. I want her. And we'll go up to medium crown. I'll probably just stay at medium crown authority. Um, going higher can provide benefits, but medium is just a good one. Uh, on the downside, this does make people like me less. Where's... Eh, somewhat. But... Most people are pretty okay with it. So the most powerful person is the, du is the Duke of Transylvania. It's this guy here. And that's all really he has, but he's got a bunch of allies. Okay, that's not nice. Let us hope so. Everybody likes uh, her to be the heir. Oh, of course. Queen of the Petchings would like to be... Uh, how about you? No? Okay. Diplomatically explain why I cannot. He's gonna immediately want to try and get all of his du jour land, because this is his. It's supposed to be du jour his, but he doesn't have it. So, in the meantime, we are currently assimilating this into the Kingdom of Hungary. Uh oh. I'm in firm. The downward slide begins. This is why I'm glad I got everything all squared away first. The birth of the assassins. King is now all injured. Sure. Alright, so you need a matrilineal marriage. And how old is he? Eight. It's gonna be a bunch of years when I can't do it. But all right, whatever. And then I'm just thinking I'm gonna start marrying. Uh, I'm gonna marry these last few or these last two daughters off matrilineally, so that I can get a larger dynasty. I need one at this point. My dynasty is quite small. I can. Holy shit! You have claims like crazy. of Russ. He's not very strong, but I'd have to work to get there. No, I'm just gonna keep trying on claims. Yeah, sure, whatever. How's my army looking? It's my power. It's all right. Per Sigurd. Let's look at the ledger real quick for armies and see where we rank. We're actually pretty high up there. Compare, uh, compared to where you usually are. 
I mean, it, it makes sense that the th four empires are like number one, but or, or the top, but that doesn't always work out that way. Do I want to get training grounds? Or I want to get the barracks or the keep up. Probably the keep because it just is a massive increase everywhere for troops. I'd really like this claim to come through. Uh, my unwed daughter has been. I'd I'd like to know which. Oh, of course, her. The child is of my blood. It's a bastard, but I will acknowledge him. I think I did already. And the reason I did that is, is A, I'm getting it added to my dynasty. It also gives me a, a better line of succession. The more people I have in my dynasty, the better. Because then I am more likely to get people of my dynasty on the throne. Which is what I want. I, I obviously don't, don't want to lose out on that. I'm going to leave creating the Duchy of, of Teams until uh, my heir so that she can get the prestige for it. Can I give her a honorary title? That doesn't hurt prestige. <laughs> I'd like for her to be gaining prestige. It's because technically this family's got like no prestige. Crusader Kings, Deus Fault. Crusade for Jerusalem, don't really give a shit. Yeah, I know. Game can be boring sometimes. Marry you matrilinearly? To. Why, why do you rank up so high? But he's. Old. I don't like that. What do I want? You know, I think it makes better sense to have an ally with the carry, the king of Sweden. Uh, that way I get power. I also think I'm going to Dutch Heaves once I get my, once uh, she comes into power. Holy shit, brilliant strategist. Look at that military. She's going to be able to raise so much fucking men from these provinces. Uh, but I'm probably going to drop it uh, just so I can build a uh, castle in here, which makes more sense than having these duchies outside of my power. <coughs> because th These lands outside of my duchy. Because then I'm not getting as much power. Damn right, you're really convinced. Don't you ever convert again? Converted a province. It's amazing. See, look, we've got two now. We have two that are Nestorian. <coughs> Menu, you're Catholic. God damn it. I would like it if this didn't fall under different Catholic control. I wouldn't mind if it fell under the Kumin. If, if, under Kumania, because then I can just attack Kumania and kill them all. And that would open up uh, some more range to get power, but I also have to worry about the hordes. So it's a difficult choice. Yeah, sure. I've got a few allies. They could call to war if I really needed to. Okay, this guy's not coming through with any claims for me. So we're going to move him. Uh, Lesser Poland, you hold it. How about Cilicia? Ooh, that looks much more attractive. So let's go for the Duchess Cilicia. And that'll be it for this episode, guys. I'll see you guys next time.